Hey YouTubers, welcome to the Sega Genicast. My name is Michael and I'll be continuing my let's play of Sonic Adventure for the Sega Dreamcast. And here we are in Speed Highway. And do you guys recall the time when I mentioned in Emerald Coast I had a level that's my absolute favorite in this game? Well, it's none other than this one. I mean, what is there not to like about Speed Highway? It's got that freaking head bobbing inducing music. And man, the speeds that Sonic can achieve in this level, I mean, Speed Highway is no joke. That name is completely true about this level. And I totally missed that speed shoot right there, because, well, this part right here is very hard to control, and I just didn't want to, like, me ending up glitching through those um, side walls and end up dying, you know, I don't want to make a fool out of myself. So, okay, we have to jump onto these slow-moving platforms, and in the meantime, we should bob our heads to the this awesome song and the cool lyrics of up and down and all around so we're gonna run smack dab into the springs and land on this helicopter well that was a little bit short of a jump but anyways we're gonna hit your ride on this sweet helicopter baby and we're gonna hit that checkpoint marker so in case if we die we don't you know we can just respawn there we're gonna take this rocket and we're gonna land on these dash pounds to do a corkscrew Oh my goodness, I love it when 3D Sonic games do the corkscrew. It looks so cool. Oh man, I missed that platform. I could have easily done a shortcut with that, but it's no problem. It's just, if we miss that, we just do a little bit running around, and then here we are where we need to go to it. Oh gosh, man, those stupid cops. Get off of me, yo. All right, we're going to take that rocket in and Oh my, what, what the? Oh crap, the glass broke. What are we going to do? We're gonna run down the building! Oh my gosh, that is so sweet, yo. <laughs> I don't know why I'm saying yo so much. I'm not black or anything, so <laughs> but I guess it's cool. I guess it's swaggerific, but we're gonna roll into a ball down this building. And I'm gonna try not to hit one of these pillars, because they retard Sonic's movement down the, the building, as you just saw right there. We're gonna get that nice electric shield, crash through those glass, and go right through this hallway. Man, I'm surprised Sonic didn't die of, you know, getting cut from all those glass he crashed through. We're gonna homing attack onto those enemies. Man, I don't know what's with it, but somehow whenever I try running up that wall, it always glitches and stuff. Yeah, see, that's what's supposed to happen. So we're gonna have those slow-moving rings follow me, like the pi freaking Piper and the children. And, um, now, I shouldn't be really worrying about these cars because I know they're not gonna hit me. The only cars I have to worry about is those weird freaking cop cars with that's got nothing inside of them. So we're just gonna run on this wall and get the the uh, the speed the speed shoes, that's what they call it. Yeah. And we're gonna speed our way towards the goal. So here we are, gonna jump into this fountain. Oh, what the Sonic, stop that! It's a weird glitch that happens sometimes. Like when you homie attack on the fountain like that, sometimes you spin around it like to no end. And anyways, we just completed speed highway, my favorite level in this game. Now even though we had a fun time in Speed Highway, our actual mission there was to actually find Tails and apparently we cannot find him. So we're just gonna march right back into Station Square and see if we can find our yellow friend. But man, the way you arrive from that zone back into Station Square definitely reminded me of the time when me and my dad used to run at, I believe it's the Tampa Walkway, I'm not really sure what the name is. but. When I was a lot younger, me and my dad used to jog in that area every morning. And then as you can see here, it turned into daytime. And then that's, it reminds me of when me and my dad, after jogging, we just like explored the city of Tampa. And as obviously that hint orb said, we still need to find our pink GF and tails at the same time. Man, what a headache. Well, at least Amy doesn't get captured as many times as Princess Elise from Sonic 06. Oh gosh, I don't want to talk about that game. It makes me throw up every time I hear that name. Amy? Oh man, where can she be? Alright, go ahead, Sonic. Cut him off at the Mystic Ruins. I ho sure hope you can run fast enough. What, you gonna run there? Oh, no. He's gonna be lazy and take the train. Man, I honestly think that train is a lot faster than that robot. I'm surprised the train didn't run them over, you know? Well, anyway, see you guys at the Mystic Ruins. Watch 
You know what guys, I'm still surprised about how Sonic, the fastest thing alive, still cannot catch up with Amy Rose in time to save her. Man, that's just too bad. You know, I want to say through the screen at Sonic, you're too slow. Like, gosh, man, he, he really is too slow to catch her. I mean, really? You couldn't save Amy Rose from a slow moving robot. Ugh, give me a break, yo. But anyways, we're going to get a new power up on this rock and... Well, the hint orb is gonna finish it for me. This is the ancient light. Try the light speed dash toward the enemy. With this, you can now do the light speed attack. And you guys can obviously tell already what I think about the light speed dash, about how it being too slow and absolutely useless. Well, this power up is even, even more useless. The only time you would use it is right there to open the gate of this new zone. Oh! You guys didn't think I'll give you a new zone in one video, did ya? No, I'm gonna be really generous today. So we're in stage 7, named Red Mountain Zone. And in this zone, we're gonna basically chase the air carrier all the way from Red Mountain. I don't want to pull any spoilers, but we have something very special for us waiting at the end of this zone. And you know what? I absolutely love the music in this zone as well. Um, if I had to rank my favorite uh, songs from this game, uh, well, number one would definitely be Open Your Heart, two would be Emerald Coast, uh, three would be Speed Highway, and then this one would be my fourth. I mean, look at that. You can hear this nice, sassy saxophone playing in the background. I really dig saxophone kind of music. And anyways, we're obviously traversing around in Red Mountain Zone, and jeez, don't want to hit that spike. Okay, I hit that red button, and it makes this rocket available to me you know, make us launch into the air even higher. And gosh, I hate the ladders in these zones because as you can see there, there's a monkey that throws bombs at you while you're trying to climb it. And if he manages to throw a bomb on you and it explodes, well, that means you're going to be dropping all the way down to your demise. And the piano that's playing at the foreground is, man, it heightens the mood of this, this zone. It makes me feel like you know, I'm really high in the air and I better be careful about what I'm doing. Like, see there? I just fell to my demise. Isn't that fabulous? So, we're gonna respawn at our last checkpoint, which was across this bridge. And, yeah, we're gonna be continuing our part on the Red Mountain Zone. So, we're gonna make our way. I'm gonna hit this spring this time because, wow, that was freaking bad the last time. So, we're gonna zip down along this zip line and wee! That was fun. So we're gonna hit this checkpoint in flames. I mean, gosh, you know, you would kind of expect from like a fire zone, like fiery kind of music, but no, there's just that peaceful saxophone music. And gosh, man, the enemies in this zone are really annoying. Dang it, I missed that platform. That sucks. Oh, yo, but the enemies are really bad in my. Well, they're not bad. They're just hard, in my opinion. As you can see, that those ugly red enemies. Gosh, man, they like have these weird red pellets that float around them and stuff. Okay, this is where the ancient light ability comes into play. And, uh, yeah, that's... It, it It serves no other purpose than other than looking very flashy. Anyways, back to what I was saying about the enemies. Other than that red enemy, there's also... I don't know if you've seen it before, those purple enemies with those weird spikes. Like, you can see in the distance right there, I'm gonna homing attack him. Those are very annoying, as you saw already, because I lost several of my rings due to those kind of enemies. And obviously, you guys know about the monkeys. I hate the monkeys. I really freaking do. I'm just kidding, guys. They're not that bad. They're just really bad on this level because, well, I already explained it already about the ladder situation. 
Anyways, this part of the zone uh, I really don't like because it's kind of slow. You have to slowly climb across these ladders. And yeah, waiting. You, you might as well play the Jeopardy theme song while I did that. So we're gonna come across another zip line and yeah! We're gonna skip all those enemies and we're gonna jump down this hole. Now this sounds more like a fire level music. I mean, wow, I mean, really? This is a lot better than the, well, it's not better in taste of, well, it just fits it better. So we're gonna ju jump up there and get this nice speed shoe and run across this wall. And yeah, oh, okay, uh, I just got stuck there for no reason. So we're gonna jump on this brick. And yeah, I gotta be very careful around here because those lava will suck up all of your rings like no other. I could have used the ancient light there, but the homing attack is way faster. That's the main reason why the ancient light is not really that useful. I mean, I only showed, I only used that ancient light to show you guys what it looks like and stuff like that. Uh, all of that is absolutely useless. I gotta be really careful right here because if I miss homing attack, should I say, into those enemies, I'm gonna fall right into that level like right now. Hurry up, hurry up. Oh gosh, man. Man, I almost died from that. That's well, actually, no, I didn't, cause I already got that shield. So I'm, I'm glad I didn't lose, lose my rings. You know, if you guys didn't know, obviously already, when you play Sonic, you want to keep as many rings as possible, because it increases your score at the end. Man, jumping all around this level definitely reminds me of Marble Zone from the original Sonic the Hedgehog game. So we're gonna use a light speed dash right here. I know that part wasn't mandatory, but it's proven, and I've played this game many times, that that if I do a light speed dash there, that's the only time where it makes me, you know, it cuts the time, other uh, than just taking the alternate route. And jeez, man, I really hate those those fiery things, like, man, they, they're so irritating, yo, I, I hate it. But what am I saying yo so much? I don't know, maybe it's because, like, I, I was going to shopping at Costco today, and I met this really cool black dude, and I was having this swag talk with him. So yeah, I guess that's where the yo's are coming from. So yeah, we just basically beat Red Mountain Zone, and we're done chasing the air carrier. And get ready for the surprise! Alright guys, tune in next time as we join Sonic Hit Tails in the pursuit of the egg carrier.